Okay, we're nearly done. Part three, putting the access points into Mark. We have three access points. We have Julian Curry, who is the creator in the Mark 100 field. We have the title, and that is already done because the title appears in the 245 subfield A and the first indicator of 245 has been set to one. And so there's nothing more we need to do. There will automatically be a title added entry. And then we have to add a, uh, an access point for Trevor Nunn using the Mark 700 field. So, Here's our mark record. We have a space for the access point for Julian Curry and the access point at the end for Trevor Nunn. For providing headings or entry fields, the mark uh, mark separate mark has them uh, uh, has a separate section called heading fields, uh, general information sections. And uh, you'll notice that it's designed uh, so that each uh, form of, uh, of heading has the same basic structure. Um, if the field ends with two zeros, then it means that it's a personal name. So a main entry for a personal name would be 100, an added entry for a personal name would be 700, a uh, personal name as a subject heading would be 600. Corporate names uh, end with one zero, meeting names with one one, and uniform titles with three zero. We don't have to worry about these. We're just going to worry about personal names. You will find uh, a lot of information that is in, a lot of information for them is in the general information sections. You'll also find a certain amount of information in the general information for main uh, the main thing to recognize is that if our if our heading is a personal name, then it would be a 100 field. If it was a corporate name, it would be a 110 field. Main entry for personal name, the 100 field. The first indicator indicates the type of personal name entry element. If it was set to zero, that would be a four name, such as a monarch, uh, Elizabeth I. If it was a family name, it would be uh, something along the lines of the, uh, the Davies family or the Trudeau family, uh, more, more commonly used in archives than in libraries. The, if the first indicator is set to one, it means that the, uh, the entry files alphabetically under the person's surname. And since our heading is Curry Julian, then yes, the first indicator is set to one. The second indicator is undefined. We have numerous subfield codes. The ones we're concerned with, uh, in this case, are personal name, which is subfield A, the relator term, which is subfield E, and that is for the relationship designator, and subfield zero, which is the authority record control number or standard control number. If uh, uh, if the person, if the authorized form of the person's name had the person's dates afterwards, then those dates would go into subfield D. If uh, if the person uh, was something like, if it was something like Elliot T S, and then in brackets Thomas Stearns, then that would be then you would use subfield Q to indicate a fuller form. Of So here you can see we have the uh, access point for Julian Curry in a 100 field, subfield uh, is uh, first indicator set to one, subfield A for the name, subfield E for the relationship designator, and subfield zero for the identification number. The, uh, the name, the, between the name and the relationship, we have a comma, and after the relationship designator, we have a period, and then there's no uh, punctuation at the end of the number. For Trevor Nunn's name, we go to the 700 field and we find that it is virtually identical. We have uh, the surname, 
uh, personal name, relator term, and authority control number, just as we had for the 100 field. And so we have 700, uh, first indicator set to one, subfield A, none, Trevor, comma, subfield E, writer of forward, period, subfield zero, and then uh, Trevor Nunn's authority number. And that it. Do that for the three items and uh, it's due on November 7th. And uh, pop me an email if any of this needs clarification. Thanks very much.